Good evening guys. I'm going to bring you with me inside this little greenhouse here that I covered with shade, um, shade cloth because there's lots of holes in the roof on this um, original cover of the of the green, greenhouse. It, it was withering away. So this one they get lots of humidity in here. I already they got rain on last night. Uh, the first one that I put in in this um, greenhouse is this nobilis and this hanging ones here. And then this one I just put this um, this afternoon uh, this afternoon here the catlia so and I water them too. So I'm gonna apply neem oil on them. They never ha uh, they didn't have a um, pest inside the house, but I'm trying to prevent it by spraying neem oil to them. So and I choose in the evening to spray because uh, I don't want my pollinators to die and get in here and die in the morning because I really need them to pollinate my fruit trees. Yeah and right now I only have fruit trees usually I would say vegetables but nothing my vegetables right now so just fruit trees and I don't wanna hurt those nice bugs so I choose in the, that's why I choose in the evening and this one in here they live in the cold room but some of my uh, dendrobium had suffered mealybugs so that's because I don't spray them the seven month there inside the house during winter season cold, or I should say cold season you know that's how long um, I'm inside with them you know most of them because I still have some a lot of orchid inside that I don't feel like taking them out yeah because they are clean and if they, get, they have paste in them so I will just put them out too and spray them with the oil yeah so anyway let's start so I have my uh, uh, container here uh, my three gallon one I pre-mixed already I, I'm gonna start shaking this so that so that the oil will not congeal or something and I clean up all this greenhouse before I put in here and I'm not afraid to use this too guys one of the pests that I hate the most is the snail and slug you know I'm not promoting this but it's the only way so that's why I said I'm not afraid to use that because I have some orchid that got chewed on by the slugs and snails and it ain't pretty so anyway let's start here in my cutlias there Main oil. I do this. The smell is not. It's tolerable. It's not as bad because um, we are outside doing this. Yeah. And I bought a brand new container of the neem oil, so it's kind of like it's. It's not as bad as when you have neem oil, like old neem oil in your cupboard. Yeah. And beside the congeal if if you don't use it open so uh, that's this this is for um you know because i only have one hand right now like that but and after i stop this video i will just turn them around and get all the nooks and crannies that thing but you get the idea guys this is the way this is the way to do it oh anyway to all of you curious about the flower of my miniature dendrobium kurashiki this is what it look like guys There, that's a flower, the dendrobium kurashiki, and look how tiny they are. They are so very, very tiny. Miniature flowers for the miniature bush. Yeah, this one she's got mealybugs, so I'm make, making sure I get all the crevices in here in the in the leaves because the mealybugs hides in there. In here, it looks like a sleeve. A sleeve where the where the leaves attach to it. Yeah, they hide here. This is their hiding place. Yeah, 
and I got more buds here. Let me see. Like that. That's the flower of the Dendrobium Kurashiki. Yeah, very cute. And got more flowers there, but I will do them if they're still alive in the in my monthly update. Right now, we're doing some spraying. We'll see this one. This baby is. Oh, she's got a lot in there, but I've been killing them off, taking them off by, with my finger, glove finger, by the way. So I need to the flowers because um sometimes. The mealybugs go in the in the spike right here in the division of the spike. They go there, so I'll go that. So there's this one like that. Yeah, and like like I said that I, um oh I think I did it. I said it in the same video in the same video one like I repeat process on this one um seven to fourteen days like depends if there is no rain the uh, three days no rain like that then that's the way I repeat the process so that the solution can really soak into them and protect them from um, bad pest things like that so they are in here in this greenhouse I was so afraid that there would be a lot of um, moth this year, but oh my god, I'm so surprised. Oh, uh, I'll just, I mean, I hope I'm not gonna, I'm not drinking myself no jinx right now because I haven't seen any larvae of the, the pesky um, caterpillars yet. I'm hoping that they won't come this year because, oh my god, the previous years, they're horrible. And this time I'm hoping it's not gonna come please pretty please just this year that's why I, I like I opted for this option this time because my gosh last year was horrible I lost um babies when I came back from vacation I lost some small small um plants so this is this is the way I I do it I do guys for for three years yeah just rely on the on the organic gardening neem oil I use them for my fruit trees like I said before it has a, it's a three-in-one get insecticide it's got fungicide and it's got miticide that we should take care of the uh, spider mites yeah the mite side I got the seedlings there so oh this is my beautiful thing I still have a few that I need to uh, br bring out but I it's I'm almost losing the sun now so it's right there on the horizon in that side but I'm gonna continue my work tomorrow I still have a lot to do and after here, I'm gonna do the citrus in the in the other side of the house. So I'll say bye for now, guys, and I hope you you like this and will help you too. But you know, this is the way I wanna I want to take care of my plants. So it's my way. I know some people would thumbs thumbs down, but thumbs down because they don't like my choice of things but this is my way my rule and my plants yeah I've been doing this for three years for myself I mean I do what's what's um feel right for you guys yeah okay thank you for watching bye guys